Mr. Ford. Um, so I'll go first. So uh, my name is Robin, and um, I am currently in the middle of 80 day obsession, and I will be completely honest and say that it's not going well at all. Uh, I um, where my niece was here for spring break, and and you know it's a lot of excuses to be honest. It wasn't put as a main priority. I'm trying to get some of my girls who are behind on homeschooling, really behind on my terms because I have certain expectations for myself. And honestly, they could finish their school year at the end of the, at, at the end of the calendar year, and it wouldn't really matter. Um, but I have a certain schedule that I want them to be on because I am going on um, a couple of trips here coming up in the next month or so. Like in the next week and a half, I'll be in Mexico, the Mexican Riviera with Beachbody, which is a free trip that I earned, um, which I will share more about that later. Um, and so when I'm gone, my girls are going to have like a week and a half where they're not going to have school. Like the entire time that I'm going to be there to before and after the trip, I'm gonna let them just have free time. Um, and then my husband and I, we are going on like a four or five day trip at the beginning of May as well for our 11 year anniversary. So I'm not gonna have them do school there. Either. So I, there are certain things in my mind, I'm like, I want them to be done by the, by the end of May um, without dragging into June because we've got plans for the summer. So anyway, so um, it's not been a priority. Um, I have really struggled even with eating like this week has been really hard on me um, I've not been eating enough um, and I think a lot of that is I'm getting back in the old habits where I'm getting caught up in the day of doing going from one thing to the next to the next to where there has there was one day I hadn't eaten until dinner time and you know and that's not good like well I had Shakeology and to be honest this is um, my I don't want to drag out too much about me but so a lot of times I'll have Shakeology with iced coffee. I'll do a half a scoop of chocolate, vegan with like ice and then a lot of coffee. Um, I had three of these today. Um, now I ate um, a little bit earlier and I ate tonight, but I feel like this is probably the main thing that I'm consuming and we're Shakeology does kind of fill me up. I, it's almost to a detriment in a way because I'm not eating other things. So, um, I need to personally go back and when I was gung ho with 80 day obsession, I'm going to show you my, um, with your all's phones, you know how you set alarms. Um, and I can do screenshots of this or I can do a, a live video, um, in the PCOS Academy or even the Diamond Dynasty page who are coaches, but I have alarms set with my containers for when I would wake up, what containers I would eat, my workouts, and I would have alarms go off all day long because if not I get caught up in being a mom a wife I mean that's like seriously like it tells me I, I call it whatever so my goals for April is to oh this is tough um to finish out as consist consistently as possible uh working out at least um four to five days a week and um staying as close to the portion fix as possible which you know um i know that those are really shady goals um but part of it is i'm going to be gone on a trip and on that trip i'm not going to follow portion fix at all like uh, out the window because i can eat and drink as much as i want um but there is a new program coming out in may that i'm extremely excited about and I don't know a ton about it, but it's called, um, I post about it in the group, but it's called a to be mindset. And I believe it focuses more on nutrition than exercise. So it's going to be perfect for those who maybe are not able to exercise yet or who struggle with it, but they really struggle with that nutrition aspect and that meant like the, the mindset of it. So I am going to plan on maybe trying to do that with like the yoga, the three day retreat, the, the, the three week retreat, the 21 day retreat yoga with that, which, um, so that's kind of like my plans for May. So I don't want to start a full out program. I should technically finish 80 day obsession, which I have maybe I've missed a lot of the workouts, um, before my trip. So when I get back, I might have like a week or so I, I need to find the actual date for when 2B mindset comes up. So that's kind of my plan. Um, 
getting enough sleep last night, I'll be completely honest, I did not sleep at all. I just laid in my bed and watched YouTube videos and I, I just, I've been really struggling like with anxiety. Um, and when it comes to personal stuff, um, I was, I was taking off my birth control pill like eight weeks ago. Well, I wasn't taking it off because I need to get a new prescription for it. And so I've been off of it and I've been on it for, for years off and on. And so I just had my first cycle beginning of the last week and <sighs> I was having migraines. I was vomiting. And I actually, I have not been public about this. But I didn't know if I was pregnant or not. And I've never conceived. And I actually went and got a pregnancy test and everything. And, and now it's out there because I'm going to put this on YouTube. <laughs> but um, I was just like, what's going on with my body? I was sick for like four days where like I could, I could barely move. And I'm just like, oh, like, so it's just been a rough week. So I'm just thankful to get out of it alive and not have like killed any of my kids or my husband. So I am excited though, uh, for a new month, my goal, it honestly is just to stay consistent and not to gain any weight because of this trip coming up, but it is been very, uh, hard earned and I've worked very hard for it. So, cause it's paid for by Beachbody. Um, so yeah, so that's kind of what my goals are. Um, is anybody in particular would like to go first? She's like, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go. I'll go. Um, basically mine is I have been, I'm Janice White and I've been doing country heat. Mm -hmm. Um, so w I love it. I, I absolutely love it. It is so much fun. Um, I went from doing UV to into country heat and I like the dance based routines and I can do most of them. <laughs> <laughs> and I would definitely say if you're going to do it, do the um, breakdown and then do it. Um, the only thing I can say is I don't like the cool down. So I've been doing, um, uh, what is it? Post cardio cool down at yoga in it's in the yoga studio yeah. under the restorative yoga. Um, and it's just great. Um, I can do that. And um, afterwards, and it gives me about a 40, 45 minute workout. So it's great. Um, and now this is the first time I've done six days a week, mm -hmm. but, um, I, I got it done this week. I didn't know cause Saturdays get busy around here. So I did that. And then, um, but my goal for this month is to finish out that, uh, the country heat program and, um, kind of do get better at meal planning and that sort of thing. And I did get the vegan Shakeology because I've been struggling with finding um, a Shakeology that I like. Um, so I got the sampler pack of the vegan Shakeology. So I'm going to kind of incorporate that next week and see how I like it. And I hope that I like it better. Um, and I want to give the, um, some more of the performance products a shot. Um, I've done the Recover and the Energize. And I love them. So, yeah. Those are my two favorites, too, out of the performance line. So, okay. So, with the Recover, just add a little bit of water to it, and you can dip, like, just put, like, some fruit in there with, like, and it's, like, chocolate fudge. Oh, my gosh. It really is delicious. Um, ah. Instead of making it into a shake, make it into, like, a, a, a fruit dip. Um, I, anyway. Oh. Um, what about you, Skylar? Uh, I've been doing the... Uh... What is it called? Brazilian butt lift carnival. Mm -hmm. um, definitely squat heavy, <laughs> which my knees have been screaming at me, but we went and got some uh, new braces for my knees. It's an old thing I've dealt with pretty much my entire life, thanks to genetics um, and marching band. But uh, <laughs> did, a, did the workout today instead of yesterday, um, just because my knees were so sore and I was running errands all day yesterday, but they do help. Um, still can't do a burpee to save my life, but getting are there. <laughs> are you modifying and you're trying? Yes, I am trying. And when I can't do them, I'm either substituting with additional squats or push-ups. Okay. So okay. even the push-ups have to be a little modified, and the, but, <laughs> but okay. still doing them. And Angela in the academy, her more, I saw that her April goal was to do one push-up like unmodified. 
And the yep. thing is, like, I remember before 80 Day Obsession, I maybe could have done one. Like, and now, even though I've not been super consistent, like, I can do it. I know I, I know I could probably bust out 10, which is, I never could have done 10. And so I just automatically would think, well, I can't do that. I'm going to go try the modified. And so one thing I want to encourage you all is if you, if you're like, I can't do that, try it, like try to do one or two and then go to the modified, you know, like push yourself, challenge yourself. And even if you have to modify the modifier, go for it. There's, you are not competing with anybody else. You're not competing with them on the screen because guess what? They've had tons of rehearsals. So, because they are trained to do it, you know, um, they're not going to put someone who is unable to do it on the TV to teach you. You know what I mean? So the, comp the you are your own competition and just really learning to get excited, challenge yourself. And when you're able to do something physically to, to feel stronger, you know, cause the scale is not always going to justify all the work or show all the hard work that you've put in. So it's just finding those little pockets or the little ways that you can be like, yes, I'm a victory. So anyway, so, um, so how are you liking the program so far? Pretty good. I like it. Um, one of the things I do actually appreciate is the fact that, so he usually has four girls behind him. So two are doing it the normal way. One's doing the workouts with the resistance bands mm -hmm. and then one's doing it modified where there's really no jumping. There's a little bit slower movement or lighter weights, um, but all of them do struggle just a little bit to keep up, so it makes you feel not so, yeah. <laughs> like you're not <laughs> failing so hard <laughs> when you can't yeah. keep up perfectly, so. All right, what about you? Oh, go ahead. No, it's just, it's nice to see that, you know, these girls yeah. with these really skinny bodies aren't doing it perfectly <laughs> every time either. <laughs> I, I, I get it, like you're like, yeah. You know, or like sometimes when, like Autumn on the 80 obsession, she's like, I'm going to go for this. And I'm like, I am too. Or I'll be like, you run for 15. I'm going for 20. Like, I got this. <laughs> you know, it makes you feel good. Like when you yep. see someone that you're like, oh, like, like they like look like they're legit, like people. And you're like. When they show that they're a little human still. <laughs> exactly. Everybody struggles in different areas. So what about you, Samantha? Oh, you don't want to know. <laughs> um, I have so much struggle this week because my daughter was on spring break, so everything's just been out there. Basically, you got the VIP ticket on the struggle bus like with me, huh? Yep. <laughs> I've struggled a little bit with my eating this week. Um, I'm doing the 80-day obsession also. Uh -huh. I'm on day like three, I think, something like that. I mean, I haven't broke a hip yet, so we're doing good. Like doing some of those twisty moves. Yeah. Count me in. <laughs> you know what? I will say it is the first program where I was saying earlier, you, you are finding joy in oh, being able to do more physically than you could before. Whereas before, mm -hmm. I would just kind of cuss at the TV or like, be like, I'm just done with this. This is BS. This is the, the first one where I, I have finally gotten that. And I've been doing this for three years. So. I mean, I, I'm like, I got a thick head. So I, um, I, that's why I just want to encourage you all, like find those little successes where you can, because they will help motivate you. Um, but anyway, so you're the eight obsession. Are you following the meal plan or, well, I know you weren't this week, but what's your goal with that? Um, I want to, I was just started looking at the list of it and everything. And I do want to follow that one and see if it helps me more than just the containers with the portion fix. Well, if, if we need to, we can schedule a one-on-one -on -one this week, or anybody can, and I can go over kind of what meal plan you want to do or how you want to do it, and I can help you set it up, help you with some recipes. Um, and there's some actual group, extra groups you can add or join for a session for the, the meal plan that you're on, because there's different levels. There's A, B, C, D, E, maybe an F, um, for ADA obsession. And so there's actual groups that are tailored toward those because with that meal plan, it, I actually kind of like the structure more than just a regular 21 day fix because she breaks up your containers throughout the day. So it's not like you're at dinner time and you have these four or five containers and you feel like you have to eat all your containers in, you know, your servings. So she kind of breaks it up to where it's evenly spaced out throughout the day. Um, 
which is really nice. Um, and if you prep your meals and you, you plan, then there's no anxiety about what you're going to eat because it's already cooked and you know. So. Well, this week, let's get you on it. You go shopping. And uh, you got this. Yeah, you're getting there. You're getting there. Progress. Progress, not perfection. So that's yep. what this is. It's all about progress and being better than you were yesterday. Right. right. All right so Katie is new this month. You want to put yourself to the group? Hi, I'm Katie Gorey. Um, I think I'm going to do the 21 day fix one. Oh, did you start okay. my workout? Now you got the DVD set, correct? No. No. I got the box. <laughs> You are like okay. The, so you got the, did you get all access? Yeah. Okay. Who was this that got the, somebody else got the DVD set then? Was that your best? Anyway, so you're thinking about doing 21 day fix. Are you going to do portion fix? Yeah. Okay. Um, so let me, when do you plan on starting that? Tomorrow. <laughs> Have you no planned at all? Um, I'm working on, I was actually in the middle of meal prep when I was like, oh, I got to get on the phone. Okay, good. <laughs> so and, I have my kitchen blocked off. <laughs> has everyone done their before pictures and measurements and stuff for this month? Because it's really important to track it, even if it's not. Um, so these, this is when I would suggest it, when you start a program and when you end, mm -hmm. and also the beginning of every month, so that you can say in March, this is my success. In April, this is my, this is my progress. In May, June. Um, and then also like with each program. So, because some programs you may give you better results than others. And so everybody's body's different. So, um, yeah. So I think it's awesome that you're doing 21 day fix. I love it. I've done that a few rounds and then I actually did the 21 day fix extreme. And I actually like that better than 21 day fix. Um, believe it or not, but they have a modifier. And well, there's a modifier with 21 day fix extreme as well, which I did follow that a lot but the intervals are different. So in the 21 day fix, you'll do a certain work, like a, a move or a, a exercise move for like a full minute. Whereas in the extreme, I believe it's 30 seconds. So okay. I feel like I get more little breaks, but they're supposed to be more intense. So anyway, well, I'm super excited. You're all here. Um, I know there are several ladies that couldn't make it. So that's why we're recording. Um, but I appreciate you hopping on and just taking time and investing, you know, in yourself because um, it's very easy to say, I'm all in, I'm all in. And then basically cheat yourself, either when it comes to your meal plan or your workouts or just investing in each other in this group. So everybody should have a success partner. If you don't, let me know if your success partner has kind of bailed out or not messaged you back. Let me know. I know that there have been a couple this month that have had some struggles, um, like Keisha, the, um, the one that's living in Italy right now, um, her grandmother just passed away. So I know that she's probably going to be traveling back to the state. So she may be absent a little bit here in the next week or so. Um, and then that's why she's not on tonight. And, um, Deborah Jones also is going to be traveling later this month. And so, you know, and she was like, well, should I not participate? And I'm like, no, still be in it. Just let us know so that your partner, like your success partner is also another person for you to connect with. Like I actually have a success partner. She doesn't have PCOS. She's actually uh, 51. She's a freaking badass. And she is amazing with her workouts. The areas that I suck, she's amazing. The areas that she sucks, I'm amazing. So it's really interesting where we bounce ideas off each other. We have a weekly call still to this day after three years. Um, because we just hit it off. Now, every month I may pair you up with somebody different just so you can get to know different women in the group. Um, but that doesn't mean that you don't have to still have a relationship with the one you had the month before. But anyway, so, um, so we, I, I know usually I recommend champagne diet to start out with. And uh, I believe Katie, you've got it. I don't know who, raise your hand if you have finished the champagne diet. Okay, I know Janice is. Okay, so the rest of you all, are, are you in the process of getting it or are you reading it? Still reading it. Okay, <laughs> champagne diet is amazing. Um, I, you know, we've talked about it quite a bit, basically learning to, to love yourself and stuff and um, owning the space that you're in and not, like, you know, not overindulging, but allowing yourself to enjoy the things that you enjoy because life is beautiful. 
and there's no reason to hate on yourself. And so I really encourage if you're reading that book, keep at it. And then a second book that I recommended was um, You're a Badass by Jen Cicero. 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 Cicero? Anyway, You're a Badass. And it's amazing. So I wanted to talk about a little bit about uh, uh, some quotes from that book tonight um, in particular. And, um, and so I want to read it and then I kind of want to base the discussion and kind of see what your thoughts are on it. So one of the quotes is from your badass is because, okay, so here's quotes. Because if you base your self-worth on what everyone else thinks of you, you hand all your power over to other people and become dependent on a source outside of yourself for validation. Then you wind up chasing after something you have no control over. And should that something suddenly place its focus somewhere else or change its mind and decide you're no longer very interesting, you end up with a full blown identity crisis. And if you really sit down and think about, and I actually will put this quote in the group so you all can look at it. And I really want you to think about that. Where do you lie your self worth is basically what I want to talk about tonight. Because I feel like a lot of the times we can place our self worth in our jobs, in other people, in our income, in our children, um, in family and friends, and our status, social media. So I want you to think, where do you really find value? Where do you feel like your, you know, your self-worth is placed in? Because like I said, if it's not truly in, in yourself, then you cannot control anybody else but yourself. And I always have shared out if you heard, if you've worked with me for a while, control the controllable, basically leave the rest up to God, you know, um, or if you want to be a badass, be like F it, you know, leave it up to God. He will take care of it because you cannot control other people. You cannot control social media. You cannot control the weather. You can, the only thing, the only person that you can control in this world is yourself. You can't control your kids. Trust me. I, I can tell you that right now. I got six hooligans and well, five are only at home, but even I still got the six who acts like a child most of the time. You know, he's, he's good. Um, I so bad sometimes I, I had this need for just control over everything. And in reality, I, I don't need control. Like I basically need to control the controllable, not my children. I can control my actions, my attitude, the way I respond. Um, basically my heart um, so those are the things that I want you to really start thinking about is um, where's your self-worth and do you feel like it's a healthy place to put your self-worth in? Does that make sense? So would anybody like to share what you feel like you do place your self-worth in and whether or not you think it is healthy or unhealthy? I mean, you could be like, it's in myself. Like I don't look for other people to validation. I don't look to social media for those extra likes when I post a good a selfie, you know, like, um, you know, like if you post something like a really hot selfie and you're like, man, I'm going to get all these likes and stuff and you don't, do you get really depressed and down on yourself? You know what I mean? And that may not be you at all, but I'm just trying to think of situations where you, you purposely do things to get worth. Does that make sense? Putting yourself out there or doing certain things for people. Um, I have to keep rambling until someone stops me and says, okay, I'm ready to talk. <laughs> um, well, I've been doing not every time, but after, um, a lot of my workouts, I will post videos and sometimes even just when we're out, like we went four wheeling and I just kind of did a short video and I kind of go, you know, tell a little bit about what I was working out, um, or whatever, kind of just various little toppings, top topics, but usually after my workouts, um, and apparently, and I'm doing it mostly for me. And then if it gets, you know, anybody else out there, great. Um, but apparently, um, the gals where my husband works at, there's five or six office gals. Now, these gals, for the most part, are tiny little things. One of them, she's going to be a cop. She does uh, CrossFit. I mean, just mm -hmm. a badass. And um, But they're telling him, they're like, well, if she can do it, I can do it. You know, and this and that. And just, um, so it's kind of being... Um, it makes me feel good thinking that they're like, you know, Hey, if she can do it, I can do it. Um, and my husband, he said, basically people have thought of me one way because I've been mostly a couch potato and that sort of thing. Um, 
and they're like, well, okay, now if she can change what she's been doing, then so can I. So, I mean, that's just kind of um, a byproduct that's actually, you know, made me feel good and in turn motivated me more whenever I didn't want to work out. Um, I would, you know, maybe at least do one of the more laid back yogas mm -hmm. just so that I could still say, Hey, I worked out today or whatever. So, I mean, it kind of a roundabout is motivating. Yeah. It is that way. I think in a way it, that that's healthy though. Um, just, you know, in my opinion, um, can it become unhealthy? Yes. Because if you are depending the way that you feel about yourself on other people's reactions or what they say or their opinion, then that can be become unhealthy. Doesn't make sense. But I think it's great, you know. And you know, I think it's amazing that you're inspiring other people. And you know, those would be great people, you know, to invite to the academy if they don't have PCOS. You know, we can get them in the Diamond Academy um, because really, if you can do it, anybody can do it. You know, it, it's not rocket science. It's not like you. Like, it's not like we have to figure out the plans or anything like that. They're really all given to you. You just have to sit down and make the effort. You have to make it a priority. And, um, you know, when people tell me, well, I don't have time or I don't have money. And I'm like, how about you change the wording and say, it's not a priority for me right now. Because we put our time and our money where our priorities are. Um, so I would just reach out to them like, hey, you know, I don't know how close you are. Ask if they want to come work out with you. Or you know, send them a message, like, hey, you know, when we do a next free group, because I plan on doing another free group here in the next week or two, but y'all want to be in our free group, you know, um, see if you want to do some of these workouts with us or do some of this cleaning, whatever we decide to do next. I think that would be a great opportunity to reach out to them, you know, to see if they do want to jump on your bandwagon. Um, so I think it's great. And, and you know, I, and kind of going on that, so a, as a health coach, you know, when I first started, I never imagined that people could be inspired by me. It, that just whole fact just completely, why I felt that way? Because I felt worthless. I felt unbeautiful, absolutely worthless my entire life. I felt like a failure because I even had weight loss surgery, lost weight and gained it back. Like that's like supposedly the end all be all right, fix all. And um, I just, I felt like a big fat failure and who would even, and I was afraid that people would make jokes about my video. Or like, well, I didn't do videos at first, but they, you know, would say all these horrible things and none of that's ever happened. Um, oh. And so over three years, you know, I ha have done very well in my business and where I've received um, these accolades with Beachbody and all these things. Well, I will be completely honest and say that in January, I had a complete like emotional, pretty much an emotional breakdown. Because I, I realized that my emotional, a lot of my self-worth was wrapped in these things that I had developed with Beachbody. Beachbody is wonderful, but uh, basically my worth was wrapped up in getting certain uh, achievements or titles. And if I lost a certain achievement, then that means basically I had three years of hard work and it was all for nothing and I'm worthless. Now I'm a failure because I couldn't reach that benchmark again that I've set for myself. Does that make sense? Because I've been able to do it for three years. Why the hell can I keep doing it now? Oh, we got two minutes left. Um, you know, you know, I'm just a, a big fat failure. I knew this would eventually fall at some point. And, you know, that's just life, you know. And I always talk about, you know, positive self-talk, you know, positive affirmations because we're our own worst enemy. So, you know, with that... It, so I basically had an emotional overhaul and I was like, you know what? I'm going back to the mentality. I'm doing this because I want to get healthier myself and I want to help other women get healthier too. And I don't, I love Beachbody. They've given me so many wonderful things, a great income, lots of free trips, so much like I can keep going on. But my identity is not wrapped up in Beachbody. That does not take away the desire to hit certain goals or to help women. But you know what? If I don't hit it, that does not mean I'm any less of a person. Does not mean I'm a horrible mom, wife, uh, coach, friend, mentor. It doesn't mean any of that. So, um, and that's been very hard. And much easier said than done. But I really feel like I'm at a place where you know what? 
if I hit them, that's amazing. If not, guess what? Because um, I will wake up the next day. You know, it was interesting because I didn't hit a certain benchmark. And the next day I called my mentor um, and, you know, Jen Greenberg and her, hu her husband. And I was like, I'm not dead yet. And they're like, nope, you're not. And they're like, we loved you. And, you know, we, you're an amazing coach. And, and it's just, like, I just want to cry just thinking about it. So, um, so that's just kind of how kind of going on the opposite end where you do get these validations and where you get so much stuff thrown at you sometimes where you're just like, if it stops or if you don't reach that benchmark after a certain amount of time, you're like, I suck. But anyway, that was a huge, I mean, identity crisis, honestly, <laughs> in the last couple of months. So I feel like I'm in a much better place. Um, I don't feel so wrapped up in hitting these crazy things to where it, it turns me into someone I don't like being, uh, if that makes sense. I was becoming someone I didn't want to be. I was becoming someone I didn't like because I felt like I was so uptight because I, I was so focused on a title or something. It was ridiculous. So what about the rest of you girls? Where do you feel like you lie your self-worth? Samantha? I put myself on the back burner a lot because of the kids. I mean, with them being so young and everything and having their activities and my husband working third, it's kind of hard. So I do put myself on the back burner. I mean, there's no sugar coat in it or anything. So, And that's very easy to do as a mom. And I'm going to tell you, and I've said it a thousand times, you will be a much better of a mom if you take care of yourself first. You will. You will have more to give. You'll be happier. You'll be healthier. You'll be stronger. The whole, you'll be the whole package. You'll be, what is it they call? Um, milk. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you. So what I want you to do is I want you to go to your bathroom mirror and I want you to write some positive affirmations on your mirror. Uh, I want all of y'all to do this activity and I'm going to do it too. And I'm going to take a picture of it tonight. I have to find a dry erase marker or a Sharpie. I want you to get on your bathroom mirror and I want you to think of like three different affirmations. Like you are beautiful. You are strong or, you know, you can accomplish any task that you want to do. Whatever positive affirmation you want to, to, to think of. And if you need a list, message me and be like, hey, I have no clue where to start. But um, mine will probably be, you will find joy in overcoming challenges placed before you. Or I control my anxiety. My anxiety does not control me. Because I've been very anxious the past couple of days. So those sorts of things where you are focused on filling up your cup. And I want you to post it in the group and I want you to read it every single day when you're brushing your teeth, washing your hands several times a day. All right. And if you want to go even farther, set alarms in your phone to where you're repeating that stuff yourself to yourself every single day. I know it sounds ridiculous, but we have got to train our minds. We've got to brainwash ourselves into believing that we're amazing, wonderful, freaking awesome women. Cause you know what? One day we will actually be, believe it. This is the truth. It really is, but we've got to convince ourselves that we've got to transform our minds to where we truly not only just say it, but we believe it and we live it much easier said than done. Okay. Can everybody do that? Mm -hmm. Yes. Everybody yes. Does that? <laughs> if I don't see your picture in the group, I'm going to hunt you down <laughs> because I really want you to focus on loving yourself, you know, taking care of yourself. And it doesn't cost money. It doesn't have to. The simple fact of you writing something on your mirror, positive about yourself or putting, you know, alarms in your phone, that is a way for you to take care of yourself, for you to fill your cup up just a little bit more than what you were doing yesterday. And you know why? Because you're worth it. You are worth it now than if you, whatever you feel like your, your goal body is. You are no worthy then than you are now. So you know what? If you feel like that you'll start loving yourself or you will feel a certain way once you've achieved whatever picture, whatever your goals are, that's bullshit. Because you're not going to just instantly start believing it. Because I had lost seven, almost 70 pounds and I still like hated myself. 
I still felt like I was in a 260 pound body. I still, you know, emotionally ate. I still, you know, just hadn't battled those demons. I still didn't love myself. I just, I was in a dark place. And not until you truly begin to say, all right, is, is, is this good for me? You know, the words that you tell yourself, they're either going to help you or harm you. Are you helping yourself or are you harming yourself? And the things that you're saying to yourself, would you say those to your best friend? Would you say those to your daughter or your mother? And if not, we need to check yourself before you wreck yourself. That's what I tell my kids. So. Um, and seriously, like, and, and this, the emotional battle is so much harder than the physical by far, especially for women with PCOS, because nine times out of 10, you have felt worthless because of either the symptoms of PCOS or just the struggles that come along with it, or just simply being a woman in a society of BS that comes your way through social media and Hollywood and your TV. So if anything, even if you are not able to follow the meal plan, even if you are not able to do the workouts, I want you to focus on transforming your mind because this is so much more emotional and physical. Because if you neglect this part, you're going to end up back in the same spot that you were in the very beginning, even if you lose a hundred pounds, if you haven't transformed your mind. Who cares if you're 120 pounds with a six pack, if you hate yourself, that's no way to live your, live, live your life. I'd rather be 200 pounds and love my body and love other women and feeling strong and just having joy in that quality of life than just hating myself. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So we have less than a minute. Are there any questions, or anything last minute that anybody has? If not, I want you all to go do your homework assignment. And you know what? If you're one of those that you're a discount coach and you're wanting to maybe share, share your journey, this would be a great post for you to even put on your personal wall. And I'm going to do that as well. And tag me and just say, you know what? Like in the academy, we're challenging each other to be our best selves. Um, and, you know, we had a challenge to write some positive affirmations and ask people like, do you do this? Do you practice this? And you know, you may say, I still think it's kind of mumbo jumbo, but I'm going to give it a shot. And we're going to see if I can brainwash myself and challenge your friends. Be like, Hey, you want to do this with me again? Or do you want to do this with me this week and see what happens? So, and I, one of the things that I love is when I do it to my daughters and I surprise them. I don't do it all the time, but if I surprisingly write things on their, in their, on their, um, their mirror, which I'm going to do that tonight. I'm going to write some things for them. Like you're beautiful. You're strong. You're intelligent. Um, because they need to believe it too. And the best role model for those who have kids are you as their mother. So with that, I'm going to hop off here. Please reach out to me if you have any questions, if you need anything at all. Um, I would be delighted. Um, and I'll probably will go live later in the group talking about my trip coming up because we're out of time. But I did want to share that because I had a couple people message me asking about how to earn the trip uh, to Mexico because there's a cruise that you all can earn for next year. So I will hop off here. I may go live in the group. Um, I'll have to upload the video and stuff and upload it to the group. But, um, but yeah, I'll share about that and some of the details that come along with that. So I am going to do the assignment and post it. That way you all have an example and get back.